How Expert! Top 10 Dock Diving Tips. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Dock Diving Tips. Number 10. Safety is always a top priority. Safety is always a top priority when it comes to doing anything with your dogs. You don't want to have them get hurt or have a poor experience and end up resenting the sport, or even worse, damaging their bond with you. You always want to ensure you've done the proper training and make sure they are as safe as they can be before starting into the sport. Number 9. Ensure your dog is in good physical condition. It is always a good idea to take your dog to the vet before starting them into dock diving as you want to make sure they don't have any hip, elbow, or joint issues that could deteriorate with this activity. You will also want to make sure that they're old enough to hold up to the level of exercise you plan on doing with them. Number 8. Different breeds will perform differently. All breeds and all dogs are different. Some dogs, such as Labrador Retrievers or Belgian Malinois, are well suited to leaping off the dock to retrieve their toy in the water, and they absolutely love doing it. While other breeds, such as Siberian Huskies or Akitas, might not enjoy it near as much and will require extra work to perform well in this sport. Number 7. You will want to ensure a strong bond with your dog. As with any performance sport type activity, a strong bond with your dog is vital because you rely on them to listen to your commands at all times. You want them to know they can rely on you as well. If they know you won't let any harm come to them, they will be more likely to understand the water isn't going to hurt them and will be more willing to take the leap off the dock for you. However, make sure you never push your dog if they don't enjoy the sport. It isn't worth damaging your bond with the dog. Number 6. Start training young. As I stated above, some dogs are more natural swimmers, while others take some work. Because of this, it is always important to start their training as young as you and your vet are comfortable with. Since swimming is a low-impact sport slash activity, it is one that can be started a little younger than some other sports. As long as you have vet approval and don't start them jumping off the dock until they're old enough to handle the impact of the water. The younger you start them in the water, the more likely they will continue enjoying dock diving as they get older. Number 5. Weather is important when dock diving. Weather plays a large role in dock diving as most pools are located outdoors. Therefore, you will not want to train or trial if it is storming outside as that can be extremely dangerous. If it is raining, be sure to watch and listen carefully for any thunder or lightning. You will also want to pay attention to temperature, where some dogs have an insulating undercoat and might be able to swim and compete in some cooler climates. Not a lot of short-haired breeds would be able to do that without getting sick. Summer is the ideal time to training and trialing, because then they are even more willing to jump into the nice cool water to cool off from the summer heat. Number 4. Different locations might give different results. Most dock diving pools are located outdoors, but this also means there will always be different distractions for your dog. Some are located in city-type areas where there will be many loud sounds and lots of people. Others are located in a more rural area where there might be wildlife to tempt your dog into misbehaving. There are also some indoor dock diving pools and where these pools seem to be highly valued to some people due to not needing to watch the weather as closely, some dogs don't enjoy jumping into the indoor pools and will not perform as well. All in all, learn what is best for your dog and try to stick to that as much as possible. Number 3. Different Types of Dock Diving There are different types of dock diving. The most well-known is called Big Air, 
where your dog runs the length of the dock and jumps into the pool after a thrown toy, and you are judged off the distance from the end of the dock to where the dog's tail breaks the water's surface. The next event is called Extreme Vertical, where your dog starts on the 20-foot mark of the dock and has to run and jump vertically to retrieve a toy that is suspended in the air over the water starting at the height of 4 foot 6 and is raised as the competition progresses. The last event is the newest and is called Speed Retrieve, where a toy is suspended two feet above the water at the end of the pool with an indicator light, and your dog has to start his run when that indicator light turns green. The time clock stops when the dog pulls the toy down. Number 2. What gear will you need for dock diving? There isn't a lot of gear associated with dock diving. However, some dogs will feel more comfortable wearing life jackets, so that is always a good thing to have around if your dog competes better with one on. You will also want to have some high-value floatable toys for them, so they want to retrieve them for you. Some people will also buy compression swim shirts for their dogs to help make them more aerodynamic. Number 1. Most importantly, have fun! Fun is always the most important thing when you're spending time with your dogs. Yes, it is always fun to earn ribbons or titles, but all in all, the most important thing is to have fun and make sure your dog always has a good time. It isn't worth pushing them to do something they don't enjoy just for you to brag about what your dog does. Because, in the end, your dog has no idea if he earns ribbons or titles. All they know is whether you're happy with them or disappointed. You don't ever want them to feel like they've done something wrong, or they might not enjoy the activity anymore. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you, have an amazing day, and take care. How Expert publishes quick how to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.